Hey guys, this is Sispawn, and I am back, finally. It's been ages and ages since I made my last video, and I'm going to be starting something new. I am not giving up on my Romus Rectum Pergamon 2.5 campaign, but uh, I did kind of take a little break from Romus Rectum for a little bit, and then when I did start playing, 2.6 was out. So uh, I still have 2.5, and I still have my save, so I'll probably go back and keep playing on that, but I wanted to start something new just to kind of help me get back into the swing of things, I guess, and get me um, a little more excited about getting, or I guess about doing all this. It's not that I'm not excited, but uh, it'll just be a fun new thing for people who haven't seen it. I've only really done Roma Strectum 2 on my channel so far, so this will stretch things out a little bit. Uh, this is Stainless Deal 6.4. It is a Medieval 2 Kingdoms mod. I would say it is the premier Medieval 2 Kingdoms mod. It adds quite a few new factions, a whole lot of new units. It's a lot of small improvements to the battle and campaign aspect of the game all around. And uh, we will go ahead and start things up here. I will be doing an earlier campaign. You can do an early or late. Early, I believe, still has your usual 1098 or so start date. The later one, I think, starts uh, around, oh, okay, it's 1100, and I think the the late one starts early 1200s. It's right after the Fourth Crusade, I believe. So I will be playing as Byzantium. And we'll keep it medium, medium. Uh, all this stuff looks good. I'm going to leave a battle time limit on just because I've had bad experiences on Roma Strectum. Or the AI just derps and sits there, so that makes me like to leave that on that way. If the AI is going to derp, there's an easy way to end the battle without losing. We'll speed it up. A uh, long campaign. These are my victory conditions. 50 regions, including all these ones. And I have to eliminate the Republic of Venice, the Kingdom of Sicily, and the Seljuk Sultanate. Alright. I think we are good to go. You can read through this if you want. I'll scroll through it quickly and you can pause and read it if you really want to. I've read it a dozen times and I think it's probably the same as what was in uh, Vanilla, so not too hard to find if you have the game. Let's begin. Uh, this mod is definitely just about the only way I play Medieval 2 Total War. Um, I do enjoy the original one, but this is much more enjoyable experience. I, the difference is less, I think, between Vanilla Medieval 2 Total War and Stainless Steel than it is between Vanilla Rome Total War and Roma Serectum 2, but the, uh, I don't know, I feel like Medieval 2 is a little bit more solid of a uh, game in a, in a lot of ways than Rome Total War, even though I, I love the time period of Rome Total War a lot more. And I like how the, um, I like the way the battles feel in Real Total War more, but the engine in itself is improved in Medieval 2. It had, it, first of all, it obviously has the improved graphics. This isn't anything, like, drastically better than what you'd see in Roman Star 2, but it's worlds above vanilla Real Total War. And then diplomacy is quite well improved. You have new agent varieties and everything. And it's, an, it's still a fun, uh, fun age, even though... I am more geared towards ancient history than medieval in my interest, except for the notable exception of the Byzantines, or the Roman Empire. So, that pretty much explains my choice here. They are, they count for about 90% of the campaigns I play in uh, Medieval Total War and its mods. So here we have Constantinople, our capital. We're going to leave things how they are as far as taxes. And actually, I'm not going to start here as far as building goes. I'm going to skip over to this end of my empire to Trebizond. Because I always forget to build here if I don't start with it. And I'm just going to build a small Orthodox Chapel. I'm actually going to build as many of these as I can, except for the exception of uh, converting Kaffa to a castle. It is very isolated, which means it needs a little more defenses. And it's very hard to keep happy because you can't make troops up here and reduce it to low taxes, all that does is get it to the point where you're barely not rebelling. 
So uh, you can't even build a building to recruit more garrison troops until you increase the city size. So it's really just far more practical, in my opinion. Moving on, Nicosia here is in Cyprus, way all by its lonesome. We will build another chapel, and this is going to be a pretty boring turn as far as building goes. I'm just going to be building smaller flux chapels and churches, for the most part. Nicaea, oh no, that's back to the capital. Close our own building. Rackleon need to decrease the taxes as well. They are not very happy. And that is the last of my money for this turn, so I end it with Athens. I will hit Thessalonica, Corinth, and Durazzo at the beginning of next turn. Now, most likely my first mission will be either to take Durazzo here, or it will be uh, Scopia or Sophia. So I will start getting an army together to take one of those. Occasionally, it could also be something, oh uh, no, I guess, I guess in stainless steel you start out with everything over here, so it's usually one of these three. Anyway, you can start out with some decent troops here in Thessalonica, then all your elite troops are garrisoned in Constantinople. You have your Scolarii, which are your cataphracts. You've got a unit of Morangians. These are basically the uh, royal bodyguards, I can slaughter the name I guess there. Spartharii to Vasilios and Siphonatores, which are your flamethrowers. They are amazing. Um, I will be keeping most of these in Constantinople just because they're excellent troops and while using them on the offensive would be effective. Uh, I am going to be leaving this flank of my empire relatively unguarded for a short period of time. Usually the Turks will retreat and you can either just have a decent length of neutrality or even an alliance with them until you're ready to deal with them, which is definitely what I will be pursuing. And towards that end, I'll actually be, um, I think I'm going to take away my church in Athens so I have money for diplomats because you do not start with a diplomat in this campaign. You have a bishop, a spy, and a merchant. And I will take care of them momentarily. So we will train a merchant here. Sorry, a diplomat. We will go to Thessalonica, do the same thing there, and we'll go ahead and build one more unit of Kantara Toy in Thessalonica towards that army. Now let's go ahead and take care of our agents here. We don't know where the mission is going to send me for sure, but I'm going to go ahead and send it up yes. here towards uh, Scopia and start in that region because I will be taking that soon regardless. My lord. Now we have... My spy yes. here in Macedonia, he's actually going to head towards Scopia as well. There it is. Got a peasant infantry, a couple levy archers, Slav levies, two Bulgarian brigands, which are decent melee infantry and archers, and two mega cavalry, which are some pretty nasty horse archers. Then our merchant here, yes, we'll grab one of these resources fairly near our home, but none of them are especially valuable. I I always thought it was kind of silly that Silk was so undervalued in this game. But, you know, hey, what do I know? Anyways, what we want to look for are some mines that will bring us pretty decent income. Whether it be silver or iron or gold. And I think salt is actually very valuable, so I'm going to go up here this way. Yes. It'll really. take a couple turns to get there, but I'll be probably making a couple hundred off of the salt here and there are other mines in the area that are quite valuable so if that one is occupied and I can't overtake the merchant I will just move on to one of them. That takes care of our agents. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at our town's garrisons. Start consolidating where I can. We'll go ahead and build a A contest I hear we have a tiny bit of cash left over. We've got a unit of Scatatoy down here in Araglion. They are extremely good infantry, especially for where we're at in the game. They are pretty much going to be your professional line units mid-game or so. It takes a little bit to get to them, and they take multiple turns of train, so they're quite valuable. So the couple units you start with early on are very useful. 
Full sail. Unfortunately, they're not very replaceable until you yes. get some advanced military infrastructure built up, so we will yes, be my lord. using them we continue wisely. Tomorrow, my lord. Yes, my lord. Anyways, Arachnion is now not very happy with us. Might not have been the best idea, but next turn we'll be able to recruit another unit for garrison there, and we will uh, have a Orthodox Church be built during two turns, so hopefully it'll last out just fine until then. Even if it riots for a turn, it's not the end of the world. Okay, right, staying on my garrisons here. We have another unit of them here in Rhodes. I probably should have picked them up with the same fleet, but I have another fleet here yes. in Constantinople, so we will send him down that way. Plotting course now, and buddy. we'll be able to pick them up next turn. Full sails. I'll probably go ahead and send two of my Scolarii in that direction. My lord. I usually kind of focus my army around what's already here in Thessalonica, so we'll all get picked up from there. And I have one in oh. Nicaea. I will... I'll keep him here for now, just in yes, case I decide to attack. It, I am not yours. But, uh, no, never mind. He won't even be able to do anything Mars. about it if they do attack, so I'm going to pull him out. This is just in possible, case they think it's a sign of weakness, though I will. Oh, no, no, I can't reach anyone else there this turn anyway, so... Hopefully that doesn't encourage them to suddenly attack me. I don't think I've ever seen the Turks attack me on uh, the first turn, but there is a first time for everything. So this has been a somewhat long first turn. I'm going to go ahead and make a quick save. And we will move on to the next turn. Yep, Turks are pulling away. And they're probably going to capture Sinope right up there in the top right corner of the screen. Either that or go back towards the uh, more Middle Eastern core of their empire. They have a few territories along my border, but most of their territories actually down towards Persia, or um, their Iraq area as well. And we have a, um, a general here I could recruit or adopt. It's got a couple of decent traits. Um, all your generals are either administratively minded or military minded. And this affects the skills they will gain, and, or I guess which ones they're more likely to gain, and it also dictates how best you need to um, educate them. Administratively minded generals you train in cities, and military minded ones you train in castles. And this will allow them to gain the proper education and gain better traits. So he's fairly loyal, somewhat pious, we will accept. And we are directed to take Sophia this time, which is fine. That was also right there on our priority list with Scopia and Durazzo. We're the largest faction. We're the most advanced faction. I believe I said we'll be, yeah, we'll be rewarded with some military units. Cash would have been nice, but I'll take uh, some military units as well. We've gained some traits here. I will go over these in a minute. Recruited our diplomats as well as the two units down here in Greece. And the Papal States hate our guts. Get used to it. We go ahead and send Command me. a couple of these units up north this way. We march no further today, Lord. And really quickly, let's go ahead and build our buildings in this area since we were not able to get to them last turn. This is going to be four more of those churches, and that leaves us with some cash left over here. Yes, my lord. Which is good because we are going to be doing some recruiting this turn. Leaving the men ashore. Have them just chill yes. on the bridge. March. Your Scolari are almost here as well. My lord. Good. We march no further today, Lord. All oh, right, we need to build in Constantinople as well, and Iraklion. Did not riot for us, thankfully, so we will build one more unit of Conterratoy to help keep the peace, and the church will be completed next turn as well, so that will help out. And I'm getting a little bit of lag here. Sorry if that's annoying, it's annoying me a little bit, but anyways, let's go ahead, alright, Constantinople, then recruiting. 
and a Constantinople. I think we'll go ahead and get lane clearance going. Oh, and we'll move these. Wow, this is a lot of lag at the moment. Move out. Give me a second, I'm going to check and see if I can figure out what's causing Alrighty, I had a couple things running in the background. I don't think any of them were particularly intensive or were hurting us too much, but couldn't have been helping much, and it seems a little smoother here. Alrighty, so now let's begin our recruiting. We'll start at Thessalonica since we're gathering the army there anyways. And we'll just make you a Toxitai since that's all that's really available. We will do... Toxitai, Conteratoi, here. We'll go ahead and make you of Mounted Akrate and Corinth. Adrianople will do you know, Akrate, who are basically, um, they're, like, your, your Acontisti are just basic light javelin men. These are a little, um, they're, they're much better armored and a little better armed. They're, they're just, they're pretty effective light infantry, but, um, Unfortunately, javelins in this game are kind of buggy, so they're not as useful as they probably should have been or would have been in the Rome engine. But we'll make another unit of Contaratoi to back them up. And then we will build a couple units over in this direction just because we don't want to be completely vulnerable if the Turks decide to attack. And all these units are pretty cheap. Unfortunately, I can't really make priests here until those churches are done next turn. And in the meantime, let's go over these traits really quickly. This is a very handy trait. Visited the Hagia Sophia. You get this from any general who spends a turn in Constantinople. Automatic, plus two to piety. And then all the rest of these, you have the Strategos of uh, Nicosia, Magus Domesticus, or the Strategos traits, those you get from leaving a governor in a city that does not currently have a Strategos. So all of these started obviously the first turn in these cities, so they became the Strategos for that city and they gained different troops, depending on what city it was. Or get, sorry, different traits, different bonuses and penalties. They you might get a tax bonus or a loyalty penalty. And then you have a couple other retinue, such as I guess they're all, they're all, um, they're all retinue, so you can transfer them between people with actual traits. Similarly, you have the seal of the emperor, the banner of the emperor, different things like that that you can give to people to increase their loyalty or increase their different stats. They start on your emperor, but you can kind of give them as signs of favor. Okay, we'll, um, we can go over these in more detail later if we want. But let's go ahead and continue our recruiting here. I don't think we can build anything there. We're going to make another diplomat here, because we will be needing probably at least three. So our first Number one up here is going to head towards Hungary, here and they're going to be stop. one of our main alliances, hopefully. I shall wow, my frame rate you, is Lord. dying. I am sorry, this is crazy. not even getting double digit frame rate at the moment. That's pretty pathetic. This is getting near unplayable. Traps, please get your shit together. Holy moly. An honor. I am really not sure what is causing this. This is crazy. Anyways, this diplomat from Constantinople is going to head to the Turks. And like I was mentioning in the first turn, we are going to try to get an alliance with them to buy us some time. We definitely don't need to hold it for the long term, but until we are ready to strike, um, once we've consolidated uh, our European possessions, we do not want to be fighting on this front. We can't really afford two large armies yet, so we need, uh, we need one front to have a somewhat peaceful existence. And, oh my gosh, I can't even move the camera right now. Alrighty, and it seems to be working again. And every time I stop it, it seems to stop, but if it's going to do this frequently, it's going to be a long day. Yes. And I don't think there's anything we need to do with this fleet. Ah, oh, right, we were going to pick up the other the unit orders? of Scatatoy down here in Rome. So we'll now, do that before we end the turn. My lord, yes. 
Yes, my lord. And we should have a pretty decent army coming we together, together in Thessalonica that will enable us to take Sophia without too much problems. Dropping anchor until morning. And if I remember correctly, their garrison is probably nearly identical to the one in Skopje, if not completely identical. So, with that done, I think we will go ahead and end the turn. And I may cut off uh, some turn times here during these videos. Um, early on it's fine as you can see, but eventually the turn times will slow down to taking a minute to two or three minutes in this mod, just because of all the scripting and the more factions you have in this game. So it may, may come to the point where I start skipping that. This one went pretty fast though. And it looks like a bride has been presented to my, I think this is my successor. I will go ahead and accept. I am the strongest faction for now. I would not be surprised if the Seljuks steal that away from us in a couple turns. It really depends on how much I keep recruiting. We'll start putting this army together here. We will have our co-emperor lead this. Oftentimes your uh, your starting emperor will die pretty quickly. He's already 54. But uh, you never know, sometimes he'll live. But even if he does die, we'll have our emperor lead this campaign here. Command me! Kind of went the wrong direction there, but that's okay. Command me! Your majesty. Yes! Onward! And we'll just get all the units we're going to use in there for now. We'll we'll make it look pretty in a, a couple minutes here. My lord, orders move out. And my frame rate's dropping again. It's just lovely. My lord, gaining forces, my lord. We're not. I'm really not sure what's causing this problem, but it is armies. horrendous. Seems to run just fine when I use a uh, Rome Total War in its mod, so I'm wondering if it's just the increased demand of Medieval yes. 2 or what. That would be quite unfortunate if I'm just going to do this every time. We march no further today, Your Majesty. Oh my lord. Yeah, and now my unit's not selected for some reason. Yes. Wow. March. All right, guys. This is this is wonderful. We continue tomorrow, my lord. Yes. Plotting course now. All ashore. Wow. Okay. Come on. Had your fun. This is a beautiful position to ambush from. You know it would be even more beautiful. Command me. No more lag. Onward. Verging armies. All right. Um, perhaps was causing some major issues, and eventually yes, got to the point where basically crashed on me. So first light. had to restart the game. But I think we are more or less at the end of our turn here. We have a, it looks like we have a couple places we need to build it, actually, so let's go ahead and do that first. Quite a few. Easy to lose your place when the game is messing with you. Arachleon, we need to keep improving the public order, so we'll build a brothel there. Knackle, we'll build a mustering hall. Adrianople, we'll get stables. We'll do roads for Smyrna. Stables for roads. Mycia will get port. Roads for Sparta. Farms for Nicosia. And Kaffa and Trebizond will get some attention next turn. I will go ahead and train another unit of Toxitai here because the Seljuks do usually go for Trebizond. Um, hopefully I've got an alliance, but you never know what's going to happen. Speaking of, 
Let's go to our diplomat. You have a proposition for my sultan? Alliance traded map information just to make the uh, offer juicy. And we will try to get some cash out of this if we can. Let's see, we'll start with about 3,000. And we'll see if we can get that. We must just decline. reject this it, just okay. Just speak of something more. Um, we'll try one more. We'll even throw that in there. A well there we go. We at least got a little bit of money out of it. Very well. Mazalama. And we got our main objective of buying us a little bit of time. Noble Lord. And we'll continue moving the uh, diplomat along this way. Naturally, my Get some trade rights going with the Crusaders and the Ottomans. Some of the others around here. Time we can move our diplomat up here An towards order. Hungary again. Very good, my lord. Today's journey ends. Our merchant yes, looks like lord. yep, he's on the path. He'll just keep going to where we sent him on his own. Command me. And not sure if there's much else for us to do. Oh, we will move yes. our spy towards Sophia here. Investing. I will hide until morning. And yep, it is the exact same garrison, almost. Not quite, it looks like. It's down one unit of Bulgarian brigands with an extra unit of Magyar cavalry instead. That's fine. An honor to serve. We should have a more than capable army of taking that city. But we do need to send Orders. these couple Ma. units on the way as well. We march no further to the We've got 14 turns left. It won't take nearly that long. So, let's go ahead and make another quick save here. And end the turn. Alrighty, back to our turn. And we have another general who is ready for adoption. He is a military-minded one. He's loyal, healthy, and he's already got a basic military education, which gives him a couple extra movement points. I think we'll go ahead and accept him as well. We're going to not take the Theologian's Guild in Constantinople. I'd rather get a, a Merchant's Guild or another one of the guilds there. Though a Theologian's Guild in the Empire would not be bad at all. Let me build those four churches. But first I'm going to go to Trebizond. And we're going to build a mustering hall there. And Kafo will get one as well. Now we'll get over to those last four settlements here. Athens. We'll get a town hall. Thessalonica, we'll go ahead and give them a port. Corinth, we'll get a garrison quarters. And Durazzo, we'll get some roads. Command me. Yes. Onward. Yes, your majesty. All right, our armies together. And just for shits and gigs, we'll go ahead and oh no, we'll we'll send our military-minded guy down to a castle to uh train up. I think we'll send him down to Corinth. Yes. And we do have another unit who. March. There's only one space away, so he'll join up with the rest of the army yes, next Lord. turn. Uh, we will go ahead and move our priest over to this region. Traveling with God. As this is the one we're going for, and I think we'll go ahead and build a couple more priests now. To help with our conversion efforts throughout the empire. So we'll build two over here. We don't need too many in this side of the empire, but over here. And here it goes again, just to screw with me. Priest and I Sparta. And we will build one in Smyrna. And in Nicaea. I think that's all we need. Orders. 
on that half, for now at least, we'll need more later, once we start conquering, but that should be enough to help kind of convert our current lands. Check our agents here, our merchant is the other way, our spies over here by Sophia, we should probably check in with our diplomat, so we'll send this one down towards Antioch here. I shall we should be able to reach next turn. I cannot travel there. An honor. This one, uh, Lumineos Nostanjo, Nostangos, whatever his name is, should reach. Very good, my lord. Brasov, and we'll talk with the captain here because he's guaranteed to have no bring a proposition for no my influence, team. which makes our job easier. We're probably going to go for a similar deal to what we got with the uh, Seljuks. Can't go for 2,000 here. Your plan and we got it. Perfect. Goodbye. Little extra cash and another ally, and one that we will hopefully keep, at least for the uh, foreseeable future. Now, in the meantime, Noble we can go explore this way. Oh, uh, we can try to reach. Kiev in this area, I think that's what we'll do. But we also have the Poles and the Lithuanians up in this direction as well as the Teutonic Order and the Holy Roman Empire, but this is what we have, or at least partially is what we have our third diplomat for. He will be heading towards Italy and probably from there through the Holy Roman Empire and Western Europe to get some trade rights established and maybe to sell or to yeah, sell some more alliances basically. It's a handy little way to make some money early game, especially when you're the business enough power to make an alliance a desirable thing for most of the factions. We'll send those feedback to Constantinople with uh, just because pirates are kind of a uh, pretty big threat early on even though we haven't really seen much of them yet. My other fleet, I have no idea where it went. Your orders? Oh, it's right here. We'll dock it at Athens. Floating course now. Oh. Yes, my lord. All right, let's end the turn. Alright, looks like Kiev wants to talk, which saves us a little bit of time. We will attempt to get another similar deal, get what money we can out of them. Let's get ambitious and try 2500. See what they say. Oh, well, Alright, perfect. Offer, my lord. I will happily another ally to the north, and a little bit more Goodbye. cash. Alright, um, this is a very, very good general that we're being offered here. I probably would stop just because of money considerations, but he looks excellent. He's, uh, one command, three chivalry, seven loyalty, and five piety already. He's military-minded, he's a scholar, which means, yeah, he'll get more from educational traits here. He's a promising commander. Dauntless, which increases morale and his hit points. Noble in battle, which is where he gets most of that chivalry, as well as uh, the loyal trait. And he's dutifully religious. Uh, Melitios Arcantopoulos, we will take you. And it looks like he is in Thessalonica. We will go ahead and send him to Constantinople to gain the uh, visit of the Hagia Sophia trait, and then we will probably send him to Adrianople to gain his military education. There's noble one. Make camp, men. We rest here. Noble lord, we shall continue And I think we'll actually go and yes. send some boats to pick him up. That'll speed this up considerably. Your 
That's the nice thing about playing as Byzantium, one of them, is that you have so much coastline, it's very easy to use the extremely high movement points of boats in this mod to your advantage and uh, move everyone around when needed. Noble Lord. really lets you ec not ec economize force and uh, get more out of less early on. Especially once your empire starts to get spread out along the Mediterranean. Got some bishops that train. And our alliance that we gain. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and siege Sophia here. We will engage them honorably, my lord. We'll build we a ram. I have almost never had a wooden ram been burned down, or a ram been burned down my wooden castle, so we'll just build one, two towers, and three ladders. My lord, we await your order to a strike. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and. Oh, what do we have here? I think you have the, the Venetian thing. Navy, but I don't see any troops, so we're okay for now. My lord. Yes, my lord. We'll send this guy up to help in Sophia. Continuing tomorrow, my lord. Kanako will now get a stables. Smyrna, get a brothel, help with public order a little bit. Constantinople, I think we'll go ahead and build a merchant's wharf to start increasing our income. Get another trade route available. Sparta will get a land clearance. And it looks like we are done with building with some cash left over thanks to our alliances. Really quickly we're going to check on agents here, see if there's any more. Uh, I know we trained a couple other priests that we could probably be taking advantage of. I see is at 81. 74 over here for Canacle and... 60 at Smyrna, so we'll send our priests down here I to Smyrna. Go no today. God's send. And, well, actually, uh, Sparta's even worse off at 45, Continuing so... I think we might train a couple extra just to help in this area. Not too many, but we'll do, uh, two more. Yeah, they only cost 80 upkeep, so... We don't want to make too many, but we can afford Your to, orders, uh, number one. make a few of them, for sure. Yes. Yes, Lord. Go ahead and handle our diplomats here, and then we'll be good for next turn. There's actually a yes. Polish diplomat okay. right here. Open we could talk to him. Our guy does still have a good bit more uh, diplomacy than him, but I'd rather find a captain or a gar or a ungarrison town, or at least uh, that is to say, a town with no general, because I'll be able to get a better deal out of it than I would talk. To someone with actual Today's influence. And that means more money for me. Someone to see. We'll keep this guy heading towards Italy. In fact, I'll just set him over here. Very that way I don't good. have to mess with him every turn. Here I shall stop there. My lord. Noble lord. And we should be able to talk to the Crusader States this turn. On my way. There's Antioch. What is it you would talk to us about, Signor? I know it seems like we're getting alliances with everyone, and that's basically true. We will choose which ones we want to break later, but um, the AI is actually fairly good about keeping alliances. Um, you have different different um, AIs you can actually choose from, and I have a I picked a fairly balanced one, so there's not a whole lot of backstabbing. So we'll be the ones hopefully choosing who our enemies are more often than not. Now, they are very poor, so I'm only going to ask for a thousand, see if it works. Yeah, they're pretty desperate need of allies, so we shall speak they again. accepted, despite the fact that they're Catholics that generally hate our guts. Very good, my lord. Today's journey is... There's another thousand Florence to our treasury. And I think I'll go ahead and make another merchant or two, and we'll start sending them 
towards some other resources. Okay, looks like we can't build one here this turn. But we could. Oh, no, we can't. We're at our merchant limit. Your orders? We shall continue tomorrow. And we'll save and then a turn here. Alright, we have another bride being presented here. Before I click anything on that, I want to make sure it's not a princess of our own. Does not appear to be, so we will go ahead and accept that. We're still number one in most things. It looks like, yep, the Seljuks finally overpassed us in military, as I predicted. And we're pretty low on finances, but that's because we are getting stuff done instead of just sitting there building up our cash. We just built a crap ton of stuff. Recruited a merchant and a couple of priests. We'll go ahead and take care of them before we do yes, anything else. Probably send him here, I think. This is as far as I may go today. And we will send these guys to Asparta. Yes, my lord. And we've got quite a bit of building to do, as we can tell by our construction report, so we'll get on to that. We're going to go ahead and build a mustering hall here in Durazzo. Arachleon is doing much better with its public order, so we'll put it back to normal taxes. And we will build a grain exchange there. Adrianople will get land clearance. Rhodes will get land clearance. I see it will get land clearance. Nicosia will get garrison quarters. Trebizond will get garrison quarters, I think. Alright, and we've got 8k left. We're starting to do, um, well, I guess we're, we're not advancing too far in our economy yet, but once we get the uh, get these couple territories here and Durazzo down in Greece, we will definitely start to get a pretty good economy going. Byzantines usually have a pretty solid economy once you get consolidated. And I think I'm going to actually save. And I'm going to call this the end of the episode, and at the beginning of next episode, we will have the battle for Sophia. So thanks everyone for watching. I know this episode ran kind of long, and I wanted to get to right before we were going to have our first actual fight at least. But I hope you have enjoyed it, and I will be back shortly with the battle 